All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and such, and it is time for Simplex 4010 Test 6. I don't really know what to call this test anymore because it has turned into such a disaster that it almost didn't come out this week. Um, yeah, I got, you probably saw, I got three of these lovely Simplex, uh, oh, what are they, 40, 4090, 4903, 9219 horn strobes. They're beautiful, they work wonderful, and you know, I had them up, and then I wake up in the middle of the night to my panel in trouble, and I'm like, huh, that's weird, and I go down, and it's giving me a short on all my knacks for these. Now, mind you, they had been up for hours and had been fine. Nothing changed, and all of a sudden just started giving me the short, and I took them down, I put them back up, I switched them around, looked at every inch of my wiring and nothing was shorting. But every time I would hook it up to the alarms, it would short. And I don't really know why. So I got angry and a little fed up and a little French. And the true alerts are back up because it's been a while and I like them. So yeah, it was gonna be these, um, but not anymore. So it's those on code three, 30 candela, 30 candela. Smart sync, so the strobes will silence. They are two wire devices. I guess we can dive right in. We have a lot of new things on this test. Um, so I think we'll start right down here. This is my CPG 4050 211T, really crooked, pull station. I've always wanted one. I think it looks pretty cool. And then over here on a new zone is a simplex test station. Keep in mind that zone number. We got seven and eight. Just keep those in mind. Going up, four amp zones. I shouldn't call them zones. My bad. Points, four and five, are the smoke heat detector. Coming in here, point one is still the smoke detector. And then point nine over here is another simplex test station. And yes, there are two wires going to it. So you know what that means. You know what that means. So that's those over here. We still got that STI station up for the door, door holder itself. Simplex 4251-30 brake glass pole station that is no longer brake glass. Glass has been broken. If we come around over here, we have my Pyrochem 551167 dual action push then pull pole station. Then if we keep going over it is a third simplex test station and yes even all the way over here i mean there's the panel even all the way over here this light works all three of them the lights are hooked up i also forgot i finally got that fire alarm terminal cabinet so there's all my terminals in there so those are those are there um let's just start pulling i guess i make sure i have my yeah i got the right screwdriver that's good Okay, let's pull. Alarm is silenced. Yes, you're hearing the panel, uh, one of the NAC relays, click in fast march because that's what I had these on, um, but I only changed one NAC over and frankly forgot about the other. So that's still on that. We will reset this. It's kind of easy to reset. You just take your screwdriver, do a few, few turns, it'll open up. You'll feel it release. There it goes. Maybe, not all the way. There it goes. And then, oops, I didn't get the switch. 
and then we close right back up. So, right here, why don't we hit the test switch? And we will put a reset in the panel. These work wonderful. They just break my panel. I am trying to find wiring diagrams for them. I haven't put too much energy into figuring out why they uh, won't go or won't work. I'm sure there's something. There's probably a jumper somewhere. They're used. I have no clue how they were how bleh, how they were set up before. So I'm sure it's an error on my part uh, because the between the three of them that I have. Uh, they came from two different sellers, so it's almost guaranteed a problem on my end for not doing it right. Holy crap, we're already at six minutes. Okay, let's, let's keep going. Strobes keep going, and yes, that's still the classic over there because I'm very lazy and there's a whole mess of stuff that was going to be up, but I didn't have the time or energy to do that. And we will throw a reset in the panel and then we'll do that pull station and then we'll do the test switch in there and then we'll be good. I won't be hitting every test switch in every video because uh, the, simpl the simplex tests keep getting very long. Oh yeah, and there's another new thing. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of new stuff and I still got more stuff on the way. Up and let's do the pyrochem station. And then I am going to put the panel in reset so we can use the door um, while I'm in there. It's kind of fun. And this is doing nothing right now. I just enjoy pushing it. It's a very good button. I labeled it now. It says push to release door. Um, yeah, so we just wait on reset. There it is. Open that back up. Cool. And Got my test key. I hate how small this test key is. All right, here we go. Did I put that back. Yeah. So, that has been Simplex 4010 Test 6. Um, we'll figure out a name for it while I'm putting it together. Um, yeah. So, these will be here eventually. If you guys know what I'm doing wrong, um, please tell me. I was just going straight from the panel. Horn plus minus, strobe plus minus, and it worked. It silenced. It went fine. And then just like hours later, it shorted and won't stop shorting. And it's all three of my horns. And I don't know why. So if you guys know what I'm doing wrong, please tell me. I'm very interested because I don't know everything. And a lot of what I do, I have taught myself. So yeah, please, if you know, 
if you're a simplex tech or you know have those devices please tell me what i'm doing wrong this is a simplex 4010 i'm running it on a um just generic audible signal until silence knack so thank you guys for watching and as always have a wonderful day